Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a reverse canvas using iron-on vinyl. I think this is the perfect project if you like farmhouse decor. And I'll also show you a great trick at the way end of the video for tightening your canvas. I'm using a 11 by 14 canvas. This was from Hobby Lobby and it came in a pack of two. I'm also using an X-Acto knife to cut the canvas off of the frame. I take my X-Acto knife and cut the outer part of the canvas that is outside of the staples and I do this around the entire frame. You said the same thing I told ya My eyes are clear and no secret I wanna know then I start tearing away the inside part of the canvas. I also just leave the staples in because that is just way too much work to take those out. And I will show you later how I cover it up and make it look nice. After all of that is gone, you can take off the canvas and you have a nice frame that was on the inside. Is it easy to I'm using Espresso Wood Stain that I bought at Home Depot and a stain and poly brush. You don't have to use this brush if you don't want to. I took my brush and started applying the stain. I probably got a little too much on my brush, but then I just took an old towel and wiped it away. You want to make sure that you stir the wood stain up really good before staining. And I stained the entire frame. You don't have to do the back if you don't want to, but I'm going to show you in this video how to make the back look nice if you are trying to sell these. Here's what the frame looks like after it's stained. It's amazing what some stain can do. So I was looking for a farmhouse style uh, type of design, so I just googled farmhouse SVG and I found this one that came up and I thought this would be really cute for my reverse canvas and hit insert images. And then when I measured out my canvas, I decided I wanted to do it 9.5 inches wide. And that makes it 6.16 um, inches for the height. So then I'm just going to click on make it. Oh, and you know what? It looks like I need to attach these, which I just noticed when I clicked make it. <laughs> so if you go back... You can see that there's two different layers for this, so you want to just select all. You can either drag and highlight it, or you can just hit select all, and then click attach. And that will attach both of those together, so it'll show up just like that on your mat over here. So when you click on make it, it will show up just like the image. And then we want to click mirror because I am going to be using my easy press to iron on this um, image onto the canvas. So that looks good. And then I'm just going to click continue. Let's see. I'm using Sizer Easy Weed Vinyl, which is my favorite iron on vinyl to use. And I place it shiny side down on my mat and load it into my machine. With the weight of the world on my shoulder. Then I start weeding out my vinyl. I think I say this in every video of mine, but weeding the vinyl is definitely my favorite thing to do. Next, I place my canvas back on top of the frame and set my vinyl on top. I use my measuring tape to make sure it is in the center of the canvas. Then I take the frame out and set my easy press mat under the canvas. I set my easy press to 340 degrees at 30 seconds. This design is a little too big for my easy press, so I set my parchment paper down and start on one side. The parchment paper helps protect the canvas. Then I switch over and do the other side. It will overlap a little, but that's okay.
Then I peel off the carrier sheet, which is another favorite thing of mine to do. And I love using iron-on vinyl for these canvas projects because it is a permanent hold and I think it just looks so nice. I place my frame over the canvas and make sure it is centered and then I flip it over. Now it's time to staple. I'm using my staple gun and I do the corners first. Next, I do the center of each side of the frame. All I do is mysterious. I think I found my own way. You can see the staple sticks up a little. My husband came downstairs when he heard me using the staple gun. I think he was a little nervous since I don't use it that often. So he decided to hammer the staples into the frame so that they would lay flat. I put in some more staples around the frame and hammered those down as well. Then I trim off the edges of the canvas. Is it easy to show with the weight of the world on my shoulders? I know I told you. It's the best light I know. It's not a game that I am. Next, to make the back look nicer, I am going to use hem tape. I fold the excess vinyl over the hem tape. This will hide the staples. You need some heat over the canvas and the hem tape. So I took my easy press and pressed it against it. Um, this was kind of difficult to do because the easy press is so big and I got a little residue of hem tape on the bottom of my easy press. So I would recommend using an iron when doing this part. And look how nice this looks when it's all folded back. Here's what it looks like when it's done. I was able to get my canvas on pretty nice and tight, but there is some give to it. So here's my trick that works so amazing. I spray a little water on the back of the canvas and it will shrink it down just a little and it just gives it the perfect tautness. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new to my channel. And if you hit that notification bell, you will get notified every time that I post a video. Have a good day.